these are the actual ratios of Kipchoge. It's a glorious finish for Elliot Kipchoge. It's a guard of honour on both sides of the run in for home. He's still sprinting, still accelerating. And how he would have dreamed of this moment for so many years. One of the famous, famous Olympic champions. He didn't actually run in these, but these were made specifically for him. These are the latest Vaporfly 3. The basic construction's the same, which is, you know, foam, you know, it's coloured in, in these cases, but um, it's the same materials, fairly high stack at the back. Wherever you see this Zoom X, is Zoltfilm's material. We always look to develop your new materials with specific special attributes and uh, we can do that because of our process here. And one of the things we looked at was um, foams to manage energy. And when we developed the, the very high energy return materials, you know, we knocked on the doors of the people we knew, which included a lot of different sports companies and uh, no one was interested. Eventually someone in Nike said, look, let's just make it into a shoe and see what happens because it's sufficiently different than anything we've got. The first competitive outing of the, the foam in a shoe, as far as I'm aware, was in the Rio Olympics. At that point, they knew they had something. They didn't know that this would ultimately be mass market. We are well known in the industry for taking all kinds of different materials and turning them into foams. And, and we have a process here in, in Croydon that allows us to foam many different materials to a very lightweight and very consistently. I'll take you around the different parts of the factory, show you that, show you some of the foams being cut at the end. Um, we do about 8,000, 9,000 tonnes of material a year. What we see here is the first process where really all we're doing is taking a polymer granule and turning it into a sheet. If we look here, um, this, is, this is obviously a black material, it's not the Nike material, but it's, you know, this, this piece of material here will end up as a sheet of foam that's two metres long, a metre wide and about 30 five millimetres thick. This is the kind of core of the process and all we're doing here is putting the gas in and that will take you know a number of hours to get the gas in and ready to, to, to foam. This material um, has already the gas in uh, so that's what it looks like when it comes out after we've got the gas in. What we're now going to do is take this material and turn it into foam. So, this is the material with the gas in, goes into these carriages and if we look here, this is the end result after being processed, these sheets of foam. Now again, this is not the material for Nike, uh, but it is actually another sports product. Oh, there's, there's, some, there's some Nike material right there. Here you can see we've cut it into various sizes to probably to do some tests. Um, it won't go out like that, but that's, you can see the, the, the energy recovery on that, it's very good. It doesn't matter how much I press it and whatever, it bounces right back. Here we have some characterisation labs. Hey guys, so what we're doing is we've got a ball bearing that drops from a predetermined height. Uh, and we basically measure the rebound, so how, how high it goes back up and how many uh, iterations it goes for at a certain height. And we can measure, you know, for any particular foam, what that energy performance is. From memory, it took well over two years from developing the foam to somebody putting it actually in a shoe. But Nike, in, in turnover, is about a third of our business today. I think they will get better, you know, whether that's better energy return, well, that's um, lighter weight. If you've got the, the, the robustness of the foam so it doesn't break down, then that's an improvement. He's waving to the crowd, kisses. An amazing effort by Kelvin Kiptum for a new world record at the Bank of America Chicago Marathon. And Kerry Pinkowski could not be happier as he hugs him at the finish line. Wow, a brand new men's world record, unofficial 2.04. 
two hours and we don't even know. It's at 2.47 right now. He hasn't even hit 2.01 yet. He's been behind the finish line for a while. Amazing. We'll get that official time, two hours and 30 whatever. Wow, this is the future.